Hello, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is Yi Sang Yi. I wear two hats. I'm a principal at All Forces Architects. I'm also a professor at UCLA, also working on a different aspect of the grand challenges, which is to look at LA County sustainability angle. And uh, one of our uh, main kind of focus is on the physical planning side of basically how to make something sustainable. So I think we've gone past a period where we're looking at, a, at an individual building and how to make that sustainable. And now we're literally entering um, a period where we're now looking at the regional or the campus or the, or the larger cityscape in terms of what that means as a, uh, as a sustainable environment. Uh, or to put it simply, stop looking at the tree and now we're really looking at the forest in terms of the larger ecological uh, relationships. So today, um, I'm going to be scaling up from basically a uh, county all the way down to a tiny little decentralized urban agricultural model. So um, these are all our slides. Uh, we began to understand that around uh, three quarters of the energy usage is on buildings. So as an architect, I have a huge uh, level of responsibility to look at that. Uh, when we're looking at the, basically the LA County, we're also looking at basically about 1.5 million people coming in. So we drew a challenge. What if we actually uh, kept 99% of the LA County um, urbanized landscape and only densified 1% to, to uh, move the, the issue of sustainability to a cultural sustainability rather than just basically water and, uh, and energy? So we began to use Wilshire as a, as a demonstration uh, project of making that into a 15 mile um, kind of organism where each of the TODs can actually act like an, as an organ to symbiotically assist each other from basically using uh, wind energy to basically uh, looking at like huge uh, sponge city communities. So to, um, to advance and to leverage a larger discussion about uh, community-wide 400 acre plus uh, planning uh, initiatives uh, toward a larger uh, model. So this is our first take to understand uh, the relationship between energy and water efficiency between basically the, uh, the five TODs that we've uh, located along Wilshire. And then looking at uh, some speculations like uh, comparing it to basically Hong Kong's island line in terms of having an understanding um, the, uh, the efficacy of a new high density model in the hopes of preserving 99% of the given single family residence mythology that we all love here in LA County. And so, and, and by zooming down into that, one of our main focus is away from energy and water by looking at basically food issues. So right now that's been my, uh, my main trope. One third of Japan is urban agriculture. I don't know if you know that. And then so right now we're looking at basically the issue of hydroponics away from the marijuana discussion <laughs> to look at its, uh, its potential of, uh, of, uh, of an area where we are so arid in, in our water usage, uh, but so abundant in our solar energy of understanding uh, a mechanism of actually enticing a whole new young generation of students, especially in the LAUSD, where basically the caretaking of plants would be akin to learning responsibility, learning ecology, and also ultimately changing their, um, their taste and their palate. Mm -hmm. And then understanding this thing as a huge kind of promise zone that's running up and down uh, Vermont that's going to intersect basically Koreatown. And seeing this as, the, as a sweet spot of trying to um, get a huge union of uh, community leaders to uh, leverage that. So uh, one of our last pieces is called the Farm Box. And this is uh, these little uh, eight by eight models of which would be situated in, in the LAUSD, as well as uh, it's been sanctioned by um, the, um, the Science Center as a means of now a bottom-up strategy. Thank you.